In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where your Bluetooth headphones are not showing up on your Windows computer. So if you can't detect your headphones, then the first thing we need to do is just open up the start menu, search for settings and click on the settings window. In the left hand side, select Bluetooth and devices, make sure Bluetooth is turned on and enabled and then click on add device. Now select Bluetooth and make sure your headphones are turned on and they're also in pairing mode. Sometimes you may need to press a button on the headphones themselves before it's going to be able to find the Bluetooth connection. So if you do see your headphones from this list, then you can just go and select them and connect from here. Now, if that's still not working, then close out of this window. We're then going to head over to the start menu and search for device manager and click on the device manager window. Click on the drop down arrow next to Bluetooth, and then you'll need to locate your Bluetooth headphones. If you do see your headphones from this list, then simply right click on them, click on uninstall device and press uninstall. Once you've uninstalled installed this you can come up to action at the top and press scan for hardware changes and that's going to reinstall the drivers to your computer once you've done that right click on your headphones and click on update driver and press search automatically for drivers now once again you can check to see if that solved your issue now last solution is to head over to the start menu and search for services and then click on the services window scroll all the way down until you see bluetooth support service and double click on this change the startup type from manual to automatic and press apply and OK. Then right click on Bluetooth and click on restart. Once you've done this, you can then head back over to your Bluetooth settings on your computer and you can try connecting to your device once again. Just make sure your device is in pairing mode. So that's it guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.